guys, what's up? Gray here, and welcome back to Mono Game. And in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make your car sprite shoot some bullets. This will be great for when you add other cars, you'll be able to damage them and better your odds of winning. So first off, we're just going to create a new class under sprites. Do new item. And we're just going to call this bullet. Perfect, add that. So what we're going to want to do is add a timer so it'll only be on the screen for a certain amount of time. Float timer. And we're going to need public bullet texture 2D texture base. This is the same thing we were doing for the other textures. And then here we're going to want to uh, add an update method, public void. I will do override because we're overriding the uh, sprite class. Void. There's no return. We'll pass in the game time. Oh, it already did it for me. But this is not what I want. Here I want public override void update game time, game time, list of sprites, sprites, perfect. So here we can delete this and we'll add in the timer plus or equals cast float. We'll do game time dot elapsed game time dot total seconds. There. Perfect. And then if the timer is less than or equal within the lifespan of the bullet, we'll do that. And then we'll do is removed equals true. Position plus or equal the direction times linear velocity. Why does it always do directional light? Just direction, please. Okay, we have a few errors here, but that's all right. If we go into the car class now, we can actually add down here we'll do private void add bullet so this will add bullets to the car list of sprites and sprites There we go. And what we need is a bullet, obviously. Equals bullet dot clone. Soon we'll make that uh, clone as well. We'll clone it as a bullet. Bullet dot direction. Hopefully it doesn't say directional light. Equals this dot direction. So it'll get the direction of the car. And then we want bullet dot position equals this dot position. And bullet dot linear velocity equals this dot linear velocity linear. All right, and then bullet dot lifespan equals two seconds, and bullet dot parent equals this. Perfect. Okay. Um, then what we're gonna want to do is add it to the sprites list. 
add bullet. Perfect. Um, for now, this is all right. Let me set that equals. Okay, here in the sprite class, right above is removed. We're gonna do a public sprite parent and public float lifespan. There we go, initialize that as zero. And then what we're also gonna wanna do is under the draw method, so down here, we're gonna do public object clone. And in clone, we'll do return this dot member wise clone. There we go. Perfect. Now in game one, we can actually load the bullet. So we can do that here. We do new car texture under position. We can just say bullet equals new bullet content dot load. Texture 2D, perfect. And we'll call this bullet. There we go. Actually, if we head back to the car class, all we want to do up here is say public bullet bullet. We'll just add direction. Save that. So open the content folder, open that, and then we can right click, add existing item, and do bullet, and then build, rebuild. All right, after a little bit of struggles, I finally figured it out. So now once you have it, you can just hit play and we'll get dropped right into the game. There we go. Um, but the bullet origin is not set right. So let's go check that out. Um, right here we have this, let's just cut that. And then in Sprite, we will just change this origin. So we'll do underscore texture and underscore texture and semicolon perfect so now it should work out i'll hit play and there we go now it's shooting from the center and you can also add different bullets or um, new textures multiple textures whatever you like with this but uh, now we can add collision and have it blow up other cars or obstacles so if you did enjoy, please drop a like. I'll have some code in the description for you to check out. So thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.